welcome to the Everton News Daily Lead on Toffee TV. Once again, it's one of those days where we're hearing things, but we're not seeing things. It's been another quiet day, but we have heard from Ronald Koeman on a number of things. Um, so let's just get into it. But you know, before we talk about Ronald Koeman, uh, Joe Robles has been in the news. Uh, he's been talking about his situation at Everton on the day that the managers obviously said Martin Steckenberg is fit. That's going to give him some selection. It, issues which is fine by me um joe robles has actually said he was angry in the summer when he was dropped but he said um he could have left he had reason to leave but he decided that he wants to play for everton for a very long time which is a fantastic attitude as far as i'm concerned he seems to seems to love everton you know whether he'll be he'll turn out to be the goalkeeper we all want him to be or whether he'll be good enough i think that's still that question mark still hangs in the air but i think he's 26 isn't he so you know he's still got uh, he's still got sort of a couple of years to develop although i think the old adage of goalkeepers being at the best in the 30s might be might be gone now but um interesting comments from him and and hopefully i think he deserves to be the number one goalkeeper he's, at Evan, he is uh, currently the second best goalkeeper in the Premier League at the moment. Although obviously he's only been playing since uh, the middle of December when he came on against Liverpool. So interesting quote from him. Kuman obviously press conference today ahead of the Crystal Palace game. Um, he was asked about bringing signings in. He said that's something they're working on every day. Uh, he basically said that oh, he wants quality over quantity. He's not looking for numbers. He thinks he's got a big enough squad. He doesn't want to be dealing with a lot of players that are mediocre. I think that's basically what he's trying to get rid of at Everton at the moment, having a lot of players that are just not good enough. He wants good players to work with, uh, a good pool, a good squad of players and a good mix of players to work with. So that's basically what he said. Um, on the relationship with Steve Walsh, and as it all works, a lot of people question that over the last couple of weeks. Uh, he said... We need to agree on players and, okay, that's daily communication. So what he was basically saying was, we talk to each other every single day and that's how we know whether we like someone or not. It's not going to be, uh, you know, it's not going to be every player they agree on. And and those players won't be signed, I don't think. I think, you know, Koeman has the final say. Steve Walsh will find them. Kuman has the final say. He has to work with them every single day, and I think I think that's very clear. And I think that relationship works. And I think I think they I think they all understand that. As you know, and uh, one of those players uh, was um, Belfordil, who the deal we suggested a deal is completely off, and Kuman confirmed that's that's absolutely no go. And now he had the final say on that, uh, and that's not going to happen. And I think that's a case where Steve Walsh has found that player, offered it to to Ronald Kuman, and Ronald Kuman's had a look at it and said, no, you know I don't really want that player, and that's that's fine. There's no, there's no problems with that, and I don't think anyone who finds an issue with that um, is looking for trouble. I think because I think that's how it works. It's up to Steve Walsh to find them good players, and and you know, uh, hopefully a lot of the time they agree on them, but sometimes they won't agree, and that's that's not a bad thing. Um, on other players, Ronald Koeman spoke about. He said Jerry. Um, he said Jerry can leave. He said the lad needs to play games, and. You know he's got no problem. The final say be with the board, and and Delafe who's you know needs to be playing football, and he's not going to get it ever. So um, it looks like Milan are probably going to come back for Jared Delafe, um, and that might be the best solution for everyone. But you know Ron Koeman, as honest as ever, uh, and and continued the honesty about Phil Jagger, who's asked the question. He said Phil Jagger was not happy, um, but it's all about interest. It's as simple as that. So in other words. Someone's gonna to have to show an interest in him before you know they can't let him just. They're not gonna let him leave if there's no club for him to go to. So it's all about interest. He said he is the captain, but it's all about interest. So there you go. He's basically said it that I think pretty much said that he's ha he would be he wouldn't bother him if Jared Delafeu and Phil Jagger left Jagger left the club, um, which is again really really refreshing. Um, a player that could be leaving leaving the club. And, this will be music to Baz's ears. Aruna Kone has been linked with Swansea. Um, he's out of the con out of contract in the summer, and he ain't doing nothing, is he? He's not playing, so he might as well go somewhere else. Swansea are looking for options to score score them goals. Kone could be that option. I don't know, but I don't think Everton any Everton. In fact, I think a lot of Everton players would be delighted just to get that number nine shirt off his back. As simple as that. Just get that number nine shirt off his back, um, and 
let him leave. So, I mean, uh, I mean, it wasn't the greatest sign in the world, but he did suffer a really bad injury in his first season, which really hampered him, and he, ne he never really recovered from that. Um, so, I wouldn't be sad to see him leave. He's not doing anything. Let him go. Um, possible incomings, as I say, Ronald Koeman said they're working hard. Next week will be quite pivotal, I think. That'll be the week to get it all done. If they're going to get it done. We don't want a case where we're going right to the windows when players in. And next week could be a great opportunity with there being no game next week to get players in. We have been linked with um, a French player called Yorick, Yorick Ravit. It's been linked in Le Keep, which is a quite a good publication, obviously, in France. Um, he's a midfielder playing for young boys in Switzerland. 27 years of age, 6 goals and 14 assists this season. Swansea are also looking, looking at him. Um... Yeah, apart from the link with Lakeith, there's not much else. But uh, a midfielder who who's played for them for about a year, has done okay, and maybe now looking for a move to the Premier League, and and might fit in with what we're looking at bringing in. You know, a a number ten kind of player. I think we've got lots of centre midfielders. I think we just need a little bit more creativity in in the midfield as well. You know, a bit more competition for Ross Barkley. Might give him a kick up the backside. Might give him a little bit of extra boost, knowing that he's got someone on the bench who can take his place. So yeah, that's one to keep a, to keep an eye on. I say that's in Le Keep, quite quite a good quite a good reputable um, French newspaper. So keep an eye on that one. There's not much else going on today, uh, as I say. Ronald Koeman's press conference and nothing else moving. I say next week should be the should be hopefully the week when things start moving for Everton. Fingers crossed, because we definitely need a couple in. Definitely, definitely need a couple more in. So uh, we'll let you know anyway here on the Everton News Daily on Toffee TV. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.